Welcome to Electron Line. Our sixth proof deals with right angles. What we're given here is we're given three line segments, and we're also given that the line segment AB is perpendicular to the line segment BC, and the line segment BC is perpendicular to the line segment CD. And we're trying to prove that the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle C. So the angle B is right here, and the angle C is right here. Those are what we call the inclusive angles. Now, let's start with stating what is given. So there's two statements given. We have the line segment AB is perpendicular to the line segment BC, and the line segment BC is perpendicular to the line segment CD. So we start with what's given, and we have the reason why we can do that, because it was simply a given statement. But now, what can we conclude from that? Well, it turns out we have what we call the definition of perpendicular line segments. So what is that definition of perpendicular line segments? Well, it can be stated in several ways. We can state that if we have two lines that meet one another, that cross one another in a fashion so that they're perpendicular, then the angles they make are equal to 90 degrees. In other words, they are right angles. So we can then conclude that the measure of angle B, which is right here, the measure of angle B must equal 90 degrees because the two line segments that meet there to form that angle are perpendicular to one another. So by definition of perpendicular line segments, those line segments make an angle of 90 degrees. And so that is uh, what we're going to do then is we are, I, we are defining, that would be the best way to say, defining the measure of the angle, the angle measure. And we're doing that by using the definition of perpendicular line segments. Of course, if that is true for the measure of angle B, we can make the same statement for the measure of angle C. We have two line segments that meet, they are perpendicular to one another, and again, by definition of perpendicular line segments, they will form an angle that is equal to 90 degrees or a right angle. So the measure of angle C is also equal to 90 degrees. So again, we're defining the angle measure. And we can do so, the Y, because we use the definition of perpendicular line segments. And finally, we have that the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees and the measure of angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, by substitution, I can then claim that the measure of angle B must equal to the measure of angle C. In other words, we can say here that the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees and the measure of angle C is equal to 90 degrees, which means I can replace the 90 degrees by what it's equal to. I can replace it with the measure of angle C. And when I do so, when I make that substitution, I can then write, instead of measure of angle, so I'm going to take this equation, write the measure of angle B is equal to, and instead of 90 degrees, I write what 90 degrees is equal to, the measure of angle C, and I can make that substitution. The reason why is because I use the substitution property of equality, which means I've shown that this is indeed what I set out to prove, and therefore the proof is correct. There it is, the two angle measures are equal.